How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a good day today. Today, we are gonna be looking at how to export a PNG from Adobe Illustrator and export is the key word here. So you came here looking to save a PNG. I have a logo here. The first thing you really need to make sure of is that your background is transparent. That's the whole reason you're really saving it as a PNG, right? Go up to the view dropdown, down to show transparency grid, just to check and make sure that your background is actually transparent. If it's not, you might have a white layer or a shape layer there or some other element that's not transparent, which is why your design is not gonna be saved transparent. All right, you can always turn that off with hide transparency grid. And I'm gonna go up to file. If I go to save, it doesn't really show up here, does it? You've already been there, I know it. So we go to export instead of save and we can do export as. Now this new dialog box comes up and we get all the other formats that we're used to, like even JPEG. Randomly, you can export it as a Photoshop document, which is interesting, TIFF or PNG. So once we have that and we figure out where we want to export it, we can hit export and of course title it. Now, the other thing that you need to think of is what do you want to be exported? I prefer to use artboards in my document. So at the bottom of this, you can actually check mark use artboards. You can export all of your artboards at once if you just wanna export lots of different versions of PNGs or you can pick a range or a specific artboard by selecting that artboard's number. Hit export and it's gonna ask you what kind of PNG options do you want? What sort of resolution are you looking for? Likely a PNG is a digital format, so if you're looking for a specific size, I would just do 72 and that's gonna keep your artwork the same size as it is in Adobe Illustrator, but you can scale it up and down with these options and then make sure transparent is checkmarked and not white or black with that background color and hit okay. So we just exported a PNG. You could also export other image formats with that same process, but what if you have a bunch of stuff in your document and you just want a certain element exported? What you can actually do with this even off of the artboard, it's just some shapes right here. I can select this, right click, and go down to export selection. So whatever I have selected, I can actually export that selection. It brings up export for screens. I can export once again artboards or assets. In this case, I have an asset selected, which was my logo. And then I can select all the different parameters down here where I want to export it. If I want to open up that location, I'm not going to for this one. Do I want to create subfolders? Because you could be exporting a lot of different things or multiple assets at once. And then also the formats. In this case, my format is actually JPEG. So I'm going to switch that to PNG or PNG 8. And you can add multiple scales to this. So you could have a two times scale, a four times scale. You can scale it to a certain width, height, or resolution. And then you can even select different formats. So I could export a PNG and a JPEG and edit the suffix of my saved file. Once you have that all done and ready to go, you can export that asset and it's gonna tell you it exported successfully. That's how to export PNGs. It's also how to export other image assets from Adobe Illustrator. So we walked through a lot more than just how to save a PNG, but if you're looking to do that really quickly, you can go to the file dropdown, hit export, and then select PNG from there. That's probably what I do the most, and then I always sort of size it to my artboard. But if you don't wanna size it to your artboard, you can always export assets and export a lot of different things from your document. A lot of powerful export tools, but the one very important thing to remember is you don't just go to save. You actually go to export when you wanna export image formats and not working documents. That's it for this one, you guys. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. That's it for this one, you guys. My name is Spencer Martin. I don't know why I said that in that way. Let's try that again. We should look good, right? I hope, I don't know. Let's open up a logo. Assets, not there, not there, not there at all.